Hello everybody and welcome back to CCC where I'm going to once again expose Cadillac and General Motors for the scumbags that they are. <laughs> and you know, I have the right to say that because here at Carroll Custom Cadillac, CCC, we're the solution, not the freaking problem. All right. So, this right, what I have here today is a block that was resealed by a Cadillac dealership service center, which is one and the same as General Motors. Now, they're not out to do anything but take your money and do as little as possible. Now, I've talked about this in the past, man. This is a resealed job done by Cadillac. They don't even put a flippin' seal back in the oil pan. They flood the flippin' thing with sealer. So I just worked on this for a couple of minutes because it was so, so glued down um, with silicone that uh, I had to break it loose. I thought I was gonna break the ear off of the oil pan to get it, to get it loose. So as you can see here, let's see if I can get a close up. They sealed everything. They don't even change the oil manifold distribution plate. They just take it off and flood this, the thing. All right. So you see all that goop? That is a freaking joke, man. And look at it all squeezed out of the half block down there. If you guys remember in the past, when I was doing a documentary on how Cadillac reseals the block, talking about the manager at a Cadillac dealership down I think uh, gosh a Rose Roseburg Oregon or something like that and uh, he just got out outright livid over it and when I, I I had known which mechanic and he said the guy was a 25 year mechanic in Cadillacs and he's always I said yeah he's been doing this to people's North Stars since they came out Anyway, he got livid, but he told me, he says, I'm looking at the book right here in front of me and they don't make gaskets. They don't make gaskets to replace. It says in the book to silicone it. I said, what are you, stoned? I said, you don't have the ability to freaking order the gasket? I told him every aftermarket company out there makes the flipping gaskets, man. And Felpro makes a great gasket. But you give them through many places. Um, the other one is the half block sills. He said they don't make those anymore either. I said, what are you stoned out of your mind? I said, dude, I actually made a web page, you guys remember it, and it was dedicated to this destruction that that uh, General Motors does to their customers' cars, and that they don't replace anything. So. Yeah, Victor Ryan's makes that gasket in there, that oil manifold distribution plate for a replacement. You can't take that off and just put it back on. You got a 99% chance that it's going to suck air and ruin your ruin your bearings. So that Victor Ryan's makes them. That's what I use. But you can buy that from General Motors. You can buy that right out of the Cadillac dealership. Pretty expensive there. I, I wouldn't uh, recommend anybody buying from Cadillac. But uh, that's the intermediate plate right there that feeds the bearings. But what these knuckleheads do is they, uh, I don't know if you hear those gunshots across the street, but that's living in the country for you. They're out there pig hunting right now. So we're gonna pop that off there. Look at that nasty crap. Can you believe that? Look at that. They, they didn't even replace the, the seal. They just flooded it with silicone. And you can see it's, it was already just pouring and leaking out. And the silicone the Cadillac uses is that gray GM crap. It's about as useless as you can get, man. Uh, that stuff's just absolute garbage. You know, we use Durco non-collapsible sealant, man, that lasts triple lifespan. So that's nasty, man. I'm gonna have to clean all that out of there. See if you can see that. I gotta scrape all that out of there meticulously so I can put a 
an actual sill back in it. That is absolutely ridiculous. So this is the dealership, man. And here's the downs, the really bad part. They charge you between three and like forty-two hundred dollars to to run your motor like that. The other thing that happens, this one is as bad as the most I've seen. Usually this. There's those big old chunks of silicone in the baffle pickup tube. Look at that stuff, man. Now this is this is what happens. This actually uh, breaks off when you squeeze. When you put this on here and you squeeze it down, see that big old bead right there? And see right there? That bead will eventually break off. And where does it go? Inside the oil baffle pickup tube. Luckily, I'm getting to this one before it happened, but. I've seen on average when this happens, when this stuff is clogged up in this tube so bad that it just starves the engine of oil and nobody knows what's going on. Um, and uh, get 30, 40,000 miles out of the car before all this breaks off and fills this thing up because it just keeps sucking it up. But this is a nightmare, you know. Now, now I'm going to have to clean off with some am amateur. Cadillac SCE certified uh, wannabe Cadillac mechanic. Yeah, it's just nasty. It, it's so disappointing to see that crap. Now, what's other disappointing is this oil manifold distribution plate. Why not just replace it? These are the ones that we use right here, Victor Rhines. They make an excellent, an excellent, I'm going to show you the sills in this thing and why it's so important that you do not take your car to Cadillac. I wouldn't take it there for anything. They don't know what they're doing, they never have. I call them schoolboy mechanics, dealership mechanics. That's why they work there, man. show you what I'm talking about here. It'll take me a little while to get this thing apart, especially with all that silicone glued that all down. But this is the oil manifold distribution plate. This plate is absolutely vital to the survival of your engine. It feeds your bearings. It's got a carousel of sills on it. Make sure I get that up in there. You can see all these sills. These sills rise above the surface. And after years of being sandwiched on these motors through heat and cool, they, these sills will collapse. It'll take an awful long time, a couple hundred thousand miles before these might really go bad. But when you pull these off, you can't just put it back on and you certainly can't flood it with with uh, gray silicone now this inner sill is the most important one you can see that right there this sill right through here these are your bolts your main bolts and uh, they this here protects and keeps the circulation of oil feeding all your all your your uh, rod bearings and without this sill you know or having all this silicone that you see switch a, a sandwich on there all squeezed over into it just makes for an absolute disaster you do not do that now uh, most of you know that we do a small sill on this with Durco and it's only on the outside edge a very small 1 8 bead on the outside edge of this sill I don't want that that stuff anywhere near this this carousel right here so I put it out here just for the seeping of the block and then when I pinch this together on the block it only squeezes it out it doesn't let nothing come in because it's got a ridge on that sill so you can't pop this off and just silicone the living crap out of it and sandwich it back on you're just you're destroying the motor and its purpose so if you ever, you know, my DIY guys out there, 
always, always change your oil manifold distribution plate. You can get these through Rock Auto, Victor Ryan's. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of equipment. Um, that's how it's done. This is, I would call this DIY, well, I mean, some, even my DIY guys are smarter than this. But uh, actually, I did have one guy call me and tell me, Yeah, I'm not going to buy a new one, man. I'm going to... I'm going to pull out all, I do this on a Toyota, you think he said something like that for something. I'm going to pull all the sill out, and then I'm going to put some really good sealer inside of there, and then sandwich it back on. Well, now you've just done the same thing as what's been done to this block. So, no, that's not what you want to do. Bite the bullet, get on Rock Auto, and forget what that is, like 57 bucks, 70 bucks, and replace that manifold distribution plate when you reseal your block and be sure to only put a small bead on the outside edge of that seal when you put it back on and it'll squeeze it out but it won't let nothing back into the motor and then you can seal that up um, I'll do another part two on this particular documentary for how, what, why you never go to a Cadillac dealership to have your North Star worked on I don't care what it's for those guys do not know how to do this. That's why they want to replace your motor for $7,000 or more. Or buy one from me and replace it because they, they can't rebuild it. They can't guarantee it. That's why we have an unmatched warranty. It's because of the uh, excellence that goes into our work. So this right here is going to be 100% rebuilt here shortly. And I'll do a part two as soon as I take off this plate and get it ready to pop this off so you can see how much goop has gone back in the block and then we'll take a look and see if they either left the old um, half gasket in here, half sill, or if they pulled it out completely and did what they did on the oil pan and flood the, the thing with, with silicone. So this is what you don't do ever. This is a very complex engine. It's doable. You just got to do it right, man. I always tell the guys, when you wake up in the morning, put your feet on the floor and think, okay? And from there, you'll be good to go, man. So anyway, we'll hit you back up here in, in a part two and, uh, and give you a, a, some more eyeballs on what you don't want Cadillac to do to your car. If just uh, call me or, or email me. And I'll give you a heads up on where you need to go and what direction you need to take. Anyway, it's, uh, this is probably the third documentary I've done on these seals. They kind of go out of sight, out of mind, so I just kind of want to bring it back to everybody's memory fresh um, so they don't, you don't make this mistake and, and lose your engine over a period of you know, 20, 30, 40,000 miles because of the silicone buildup inside your baffle pickup tube. Anyway, we'll talk to you shortly. Thanks for hanging out with me here at CCC. As always, I enjoy it. God bless.